Yes, hello. Oh, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Welcome. Hi. We Hi. have, um, looks like we have uh, Kevin Grant, uh, Kurt, Sarah, and Tim, and the applicant is also on the call right now. Okay, that would be Steve. Steve Craft, yep. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. So it is 301. Um, we have, uh, we don't have current officers, so because Kevin was the past chair, I would ask him to call the meeting to order and do a roll call, and then we can talk about officers. Okay, very good. I'm hearing a lot of wind noise or something in the background from somebody, but um, um, okay, we'll call that. Uh, we'll call the meeting to order. And uh, Robin, if you want to do a roll call, please. Sure. <laughs> um, Tim Brandon Mule. Here. Kurt Skirvin, please uh, forgive the pronunciation. Like S H Skirvin here. Skirvin, Kurt Skirvin. Um, Kevin Campbell here. Grant Wayland here. Sarah Watson Curry here. Shelley Dahlquist. So I believe that's Shelly's the only one that is not currently on the call and I did not hear from her. So I'm not sure um, if she will be attending, but we do have a okay. quorum. We do have a quorum. Yes, our quorum. Yes, our quorum requires one from each entity and we do have that. So um, we'll move on to item number two and that is the election of officers. Uh, first, we'll do uh, nominations for chair. I nominate Kevin Campbell for chair. This is Sarah. And this is Grant. I'll second that nomination. Okay. Do we have any other nominations? Any other nominations? Third and final call. Okay, I, I think uh, Robin, because we're doing this um, uh, by uh, offsite or whatever, I think all votes require a roll call vote. So we'll take a roll call vote on this, please. Jim Brennan Mule? Here. Yes, you mean? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Shervin? Yes. Kevin Campbell. Oh, I suppose you don't vote on yourself, me. Well, I, yeah. Okay. Grant Wayland. Yes. Sarah Watson Curry. Yes. Okay. All right. So with that, then I think the other two officers we have a vice chair and then the secretary treasurer, correct? I'm not sure about the secretary treasurer, but we do need at least a vice chair in case somebody, in case you couldn't attend a meeting. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought we had a, I, I thought that the city acted as the uh, transcribing, but I, but I thought, uh, and I could be wrong, but I thought we had a secretary sign off on the, um, on the minutes. Um, I could be wrong, but. I think Christy signed off on the last set of minutes and resolution. Okay. So I think I think if okay. we just get a vice chair, we'd be good. Okay, very good. Do I, I, I'm calling for uh, nominations for vice chair. I, I think Pat, Grant, Pat, 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 Pat. Go ahead, Grant. Well, I was going to say if uh, I, I would nominate Sarah Watson Curry for vice chair. I don't know if I'll be at the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I guess I've got the same issue. So. I, I, Grant, I, I was thinking that uh, I think Tim uh, Brenda Mill was the, if I recall correctly, he was the past vice chair, but 
Oh, okay. Oh. Well, well, then then I will nominate Tim. So. Okay, we have a nomination for Tim Brennan. Mills our second. 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 That was by Kurt, I'm assuming. Yes. Sir. Okay. Kurt. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Third and final call. Any other nominations? Okay, Robin, we'll do a roll call vote, please. Uh, Kurt Turvin. Yes. Kevin Campbell. Yes. Grant Wayland. Yes. Sarah Watson Curry. Yes. Okay, very, very good. Um, so then we'll move on to item number three, approval of minutes. And those were um, the minutes from April 24th, 2018. It's been a while. <laughs> I did review yeah. those and what I can remember, they seemed accurate. So <laughs> we just need a motion to approve. Tim moves to approve. Uh, Sarah seconds. Okay, motion by Tim, second by Sarah. Roll call vote, please. All in favor? Tim Brennan Meal? Yes. Okay. Kurt Skirvin? Uh, am I saying that right? That's okay. Yeah, you got to be Norwegian. I, I am. <laughs> Hello, you got to roll your J in with the K. Kevin Campbell? Yes. Grant Wayland? Yes. Sarah Watson Curry? Yes. All right, thank you. Minutes are approved. Uh, do we have any citizens to be heard on items not on the agenda? I don't think so. And just as a reminder for these WebEx calls, if you mute your microphone when you're not talking, sometimes that will help with the feedback. Very good. Good, thank you. Good point, thank you. Okay, uh, seeing no citizens to be heard on items not on the agenda, we'll move to item number five. Do we have any agenda amendments? We do not, Chair. Very good. Uh, so then we'll uh, move into item number six, which is a public hearing for a request from SNL Craft for a conditional use permit to expand existing business in track three of the Oakport Joint Powers Agreement at 3712 Highway 75 North, parcel number 23.028.1306. Do we have a motion to open the hearing? So moved, Grant. Second, Tim. Okay, second by Tim. Uh, in a, and I apologize for this, but uh, the, the requirements are that we have to do the roll call vote on each thing. So Robin, if you wanna take the roll call, please. Brandon Meal? Kurt Skirvin? Yes. Kevin Campbell? Yes. Grant Wayland? Yes. Sarah Watson Curry? Yes. Okay, the public hearing is uh, officially open and I, I, I do have a question before we before I turn over to you, Robin, to give a little history. Um, do we do we have any uh, did we get any written comments regarding this um, request? Thank you, Chair. We did not receive any written or email or phone comments for this item. Okay, very good, thank you. And also we have nobody else on the line that would care to speak to this other than the applicant, is that correct? That is correct, Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, with that, Robin, do you want to do you want to go through and give us a little uh, history on or on the application, and and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, Chair. Uh, SNL Craft are requesting a conditional use permit to expand an existing business in Track Three of the Oakport Joint Powers Agreement area. Um, they are wishing to construct a 26 by 180 foot, uh, 26 by 180 foot self storage building, which is 4,600, 680 square feet at three, uh, 3712 Highway 75 North. Um, 
I'm not going to go through the details because you are, I'm sure you're privy to the history of the Oak Point, Oak Port Joint Powers Agreement, but I will um, remind the board, some of you may or may not have been on board, I didn't check the minutes, but um, the applicant did request a similar CUP in 2004 to expand the business at this same location. Um, it was, a CUP request was approved with limitations for square footage. He did not um, build all of the buildings he was wishing to do at that time. He only had built one. Um, now he's coming in and to build a second um, building, remaining under the 10% coverage requirement. Um, let's see. Staff is recommending approval of the conditional use permit with uh, the four conditions listed in the report. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions and the applicant is also on the call. Excuse me, I had my phone on mute. Um, so the four conditions, have those conditions been discussed with the applicant? No, those are, um, they were sent to him in the report. Those are um, our standard conditions. And they're also the similar conditions that were granted at the last um, the last meeting. And so, uh, in my reviewing of the of your uh, analysis of this, uh, Robin, I I see that with this one, uh, between this one and the previous, he will be just under that 10% maximum. Is that correct? He will actually be under 6%. So. Um, Why? I thought the previous one was 4% and this one was 6. Nope. Uh, so um, on, on page, my, excuse me, mine doesn't have page numbers. One, two, three, four, five. On page five of your packet under proposal review, I did a, some math there. So he's proposing um, 4,680 square feet. Um, he has 1,700 plus the 9,600 square foot building. So that was um, that was just over 4% building coverage. And with the addition of this new building, he will be under, still under six, just under 6%. So there's a little room to move if he wants to add some additional square foot, but I, I didn't do the math to get up to 10%. Okay, okay, very good. I, I guess I just misunderstood what I was reading here. So, um, that, that's that's good. Uh, I just I just want to uh, I'll make a couple of comments here. Then if Steve wants to comment in, I you know I've dealt with uh, Steve since he originally bought that land um, through our Oakport Joint Powers, and um, he has been a he has been a very good um, um, property owner there. Uh, I think he's worked well with his neighbors. Um, I think everything has worked out well, and I, I, I just, um, I just think that he's their investment uh, in that area has been very worthwhile, and I, I certainly will go on record as supporting uh, his request. Any other comments? Uh, well, the hearing is open, and then if not, we'll see if Steve has anything he wants to say. And this is Sarah. I have a have Go ahead, question. Sarah. Um, thanks. Um, uh, mostly, this building is just for storage. So, looking at the pictures and the property, there's already vehicles there. It's just to provide coverage and protection. Is that am I correct in that assumption? Like there won't be. Will there be additional traffic in and out of that location with this building, or is it to protect um, property that you already have or assets that you already have? Well, this particular, um, can you hear me first of all? Yes. Okay. Uh, this particular building will be an indoor mini storage building that will actually be in addition to the clientele that we have there currently. So it would add some in and out, but you, yeah, you know, we're talking about 18 bays roughly. In, in this in this unit, so it's it's not a huge amount of traffic. Um, to answer your question about the vehicles that you see parked outside there, we we have two types of storage there. We have our indoor and we have our outdoor. Um, 
that what you see in the picture has already been moved. We expanded our outdoor parking facility last year. Uh, it's just a gravel covered surface. And this building would um, encompass what you had previously seen there with vehicles parked on it. Sounds good. Thank you for the clarification. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Uh, any other questions for the applicant? Steve, do you have any um, anything you wish to say? Um, I, I don't, um, other than that we at one time had requested moving into the, the setback area there and, and we are no longer requesting that. So uh, I don't see anything special that needs to go along with this. Okay, and, and you have uh, you, you have had an opportunity to review the recommended conditions by staff? Yes, I have. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, um, is there any, Kevin any other Grant, comments? I'll move, Kevin and Grant, I'll move to close the hearing. Very good, thank you, Grant. We have a motion to close, is there a second? Sarah, second. Okay, we have a motion uh, to close by Grant, second by Sarah. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing yes, that, roll is... call both. Okay, sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. This is Tim. I did talk to both landowners on both sides, uh, uh, Birch Truck and uh, Red River Power, and they had no problems with the building going up. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Tim. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to close the hearing. Uh, uh, Robin, do you want to do a roll call vote, please? Okay, uh, Tim Brennan-Mule. Kurt Skirvin. Yes. Kevin Campbell. Yes. Grant Whalen. Yes. Sarah Watson-Curry. Yes. Okay, so the public hearing is closed. We have a uh, request before the board. What uh, What is the wishes of the board? I move, I move to approve the request. Second. Okay, we kind of jumped over each other. Was it, who, who made the motion? Was it Kurt? Grant. Grant, yeah. Okay, okay, Grant made the motion and who was the second? Tim. Yeah, okay, very good. Any other discussion on the motion? And that, and that motion includes the conditions as recommended by staff, is that correct? That's correct. All right, very good. Okay, uh, seeing no further discussion, uh, we let, looks like we have one final roll call vote here. Okay, Tim Brandemuel. Kurt Skirvin. Yes. Kevin Campbell. Yes. Grant Wayland. Yes. Sarah Watson Curry. Yes. All right. That uh, the uh, uh, conditional use permit has been granted, and so Steve, you will work with uh, Robin to do whatever paperwork is necessary to get that completed. And Steve, just uh, just real briefly for, uh, because we are all operating off site here, um, our regulations call for us to do all these roll call votes, uh, something that we don't normally have to do. So it might, it might seem kind of, kind of cumbersome to you, but uh, these are rules that are set up by our governor to, to do. So uh, just to explain that. So. Do we, okay, we'll go to item number seven. Do we have any other business to be brought before the board? Robin, do you have anything? None that I'm aware of. Okay, very good. Okay, I, I think with that, um, thank you all for attending and um, this meeting will be adjourned. Thank you, Council. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Good luck with your project, Steve. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, good luck. Yep, I know. Thanks. Bye, guys.